All right, so I thought we were gonna explode here. We still could. I tied sober up over there first thing. It's still, it's still leaking out. I got this one. Uh, but when I came back here the first time, it was spraying everywhere. And uh, I think what we're going to do is probably let it all leak out. I think he took the piece of the propane thing off and uh, something got stuck inside. I got propane all over my foot and it is just burning like crazy. All right, I had to pull over. Oh, that was the craziest crap that just happened. I could have just lost my home and everything real easy. When I first walked back out there, there was a cloud of propane everywhere. And my first thought was uh, to get sober out. It's kind of amazing. I thought about getting sober out. I didn't. I thought, do I need anything? Can I live without anything in here? Yep, so not sober. <laughs> so I grabbed sober. <laughs> and I was so angry. Like, I, I really like this place. Uh, the lady who has the who works at the hardware store here is absolutely awesome. I don't know the guy that filled up my propane, but I was really angry because I came out there. There's huge cloud. There's tons of propane, propane just flying out of my... And the cap is on. The guy tried to put the cap back on when it was leaking. Like just maybe maybe he won't notice or something, you know. <laughs> it just froze. Yeah, and it just froze and there he's just sitting there. It it really, really irritated me. So I ran in here to to grab because I tried to grab it with my hand for at first, but my hand is really, really cold. <laughs> Um, and I thought we need something. I said, why don't you get something? So I ran in here, opened up a new thing of paper towels and ripped off the half of the side of it like this. Cause I was going to come back out there and, uh, take the cap off so we could see what was going on, on in there. Well, I come out and he's sitting there with a glove on. So <laughs> just sitting there with. It was sad. It was really sad. <laughs> uh, I kept saying, get a glove. Get a glove. Yeah. He said. Yeah. I said, yeah. It's just, and I'm just like, uh, I'm a little shaken up right now because I could have just lost my home and everything. I'm glad I turned my refrigerator off. Always make sure you turn your refrigerator off because I noticed when I was standing there um, that... Uh, my refrigerator, it was igniting and igniting and igniting, trying to uh, get some propane. Well, I should just shut off the propane, but I didn't shut off my fridge. So it's just sitting there igniting. Well, if propane gets in there from the outside, it'll still ignite and yeah. Boom. ignite everything. So they really, really mean, uh, you really, really need to turn off your, off your refrigerator when you're getting your propane filled. And I saw firsthand why now. I never used to do that. I used to just shut off the propane, you know. In my hot water heater, sometimes I'll forget about that. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. So, I mean, I just uh, almost lost my home and everything. And uh, what the thing was is the guy, this is another thing you got to watch out for. The guy put the first bracket on and then he, he stuck his finger in there because he saw some dust and stuff. Well, he didn't he should have taken the whole thing out and blown it out and everything like that because that ended up being what the problem was he blew something in there a bug or something like that and it was it it got stuck right at the entry point so the cap couldn't come back and seal it off yeah and uh that's something you really really got to watch for they got to have really clean propane lines one little piece of dirt and that's that'll happen to you too yeah oh man when it's really full and after they just filled it completely up like that it, they just stand there and waiting on it to run out the whole side of the rig is frosted over i know yeah 
man. It reeks like propane in here still. Could have just lost everything. Yeah, that, that's how fast it happens. Oh, man. Yeah. I think this would be the Friday 13th special here. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been, today's been crazy. And other Off things, other things I can't mention that's happened as a little too versatile, but it's been crazy. It's, it's been off the wall. Yeah. Interesting, but off the wall, man. <sighs> man. Anyways, I hope I'm good to go now. I think I am. Uh, it's sealed back up. But now I'm going to be iffy about it all the time now. Yeah. It's going to be in the back of my head. You know? Well, you see that can happen, man. It's it, happened to people. Yep. So. Yep. All right. So I'm a little shook up by what just happened still. But I wanted to show you guys something real cool. Um, I had passed by this place a few times before. It's the Heartbreak Hotel. But uh, a local had stopped by uh my camp and we were talking and he said that this heartbreak hotel right here is the actual original hotel that uh elvis stayed in um and wrote the song about it the heartbreak hotel of course uh i don't think it's in operation anymore and i don't know for sure if that's true or not but he seemed to know what he was talking about. So I really have no reason to disbelieve him. It's on Canoe Creek Road. Heartbreak Hotel. Pretty cool beans. The thing I guess about the propane thing that bothers me the most is that yellow cap was screwed all the way back on while it was leaking the guy just tried to cover it up I, I mean or I don't really can't say what his intentions were a hundred percent but he didn't make it a deal until Frank came out and saw him some with the cap off the guy had taken this cap it was spewing out tons of propane and he just put this cap back on <laughs> while it was spitting out a whole bunch of propane. Why would you do that? Unless he was just trying to stop the leak or something because he was, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I said, we got to take this, this cap off. Well, it's sealed now, but now that I know that can happen that easy, it's kind of scary. He just tried to cover it up. Yeah. He didn't realize them caps is made to vent so it won't seal it off. Yeah. And that's a good thing because if it sealed it off, next person to tried to open it up, it's going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. You think he would have just left it? I, I, I don't want to say. Yeah. <laughs> but he sure, he sure seemed like it was his hit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I don't think the smile ever left his face. He was smiling all the time. So. Uh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was bizarre. And I'm thinking, this is my home, man. This is everything I got. My dog and my love, and this isn't. Uh, you got to make sure those things are cleaned off when you fill them up. All right, fridge is good. It still reeks like propane. What are you doing on my bed, huh? What are you doing back here? Well, talk about craziness. <sighs> Can't believe it still reeks like propane. Yeah, it's, it, around there, it's not gone. Yeah. yeah. Well, this whole side was frosted. Man, yeah. It was frosty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like we went through a major snowstorm or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I first came out there, man, it was a gigantic cloud of propane. <laughs> it was awful. Well, there's the Heartbreak Hotel. All right, guys, I just want to clarify something. Uh, for the most part, that Roberto guy did know what he was doing, how to fill it up. Uh, he just didn't know that you need to keep it pretty clean. And uh, he, he must not have known, you know, about the bug or whatever it was in there. I really hope uh, Roberto doesn't get fired. I'm sure he'll make sure it's clean now every time. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little experience now. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so everything just worked good up to this point. Yeah, and I didn't really understand the mechanics of that thing, but uh, the the seal on that on that. But now I have a a much better understanding of how it works. If it ever happens to me again, uh, you just gotta stick something in there and get that seal. It's on a spring, and you push it in in order to fill it. And when you pull a uh, pull your filler out then the, then the uh, seal goes right back on. Well, there was something obviously blocking it. So, Anyways, that being said, I hope Roberto doesn't lose his job or anything. It's just, uh, so we all learned something. And uh, thanks to Frank for being there, and he knew exactly what to do. Not a problem, man. Frank, luckily and unluckily, it happened to me before. So. Yeah, so Frank saved the day today. Woo! And uh, I think my last video, Jade was the star. Yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> I love the beavers. They're a lot of fun to hang out with. <laughs> Peace out, guys.